actually no, that's not a bit dull and there's a bit of environmental glow in this, so it has more of a realistic sort of feel to it. So we're gonna go layer, new, adjustment layer. Yeah, I said the wrong there, we're gonna bring it in. And now we're gonna track the motion of our base footage. So you want to find something that moves and it's basically stays still within the shot that you take. And that moves down. So then we're gonna track from there and it click on position and now we're gonna analyze it with the play button. Well, that one's pretty good. Now we're gonna go new no object and we're gonna go edit target no object apply x and y hit ok so that's looking pretty good so as you can see the top left edge of the null object is moving with the black dot on the jumper so now we're going to type in in the effects and presets hue and saturation and drag it onto the adjustment layer we want a bit of a blue sort of flare to it on the darker side of the leg, so we're going to mask around that area whilst whilst selecting the adjustment layer. So that's the mask done. And now we're going to bring the blue saturation up and the blue lightness up, and you'll want to sort of minimize or decrease the color range so it gets a specific sort of blue feel to it. I like so. Bring the lightness up a little bit more. Is that it? No, higher, higher. There we go. That's it. It's looking pretty good. Now we're going to bring the feathering up. Just, just hit F while selecting the adjustment layer. It'll come up and I'm going to probably say around 75 to 100. I'm just experimenting with it now. Because I've recorded my voice after I've recorded the screenshot. Okay, that's it. Now I've got, yeah, definitely 75 to 100. Now you're going to parent the adjustment layer to the null by using that squiggly spirally and dragging it onto the null 7 or whatever number null you have. And don't click on the colorize button because it gives it a sort of retro look. Bring the saturation up a bit more. Feather it a bit more. Not 400. Definitely 75 to 100. Yeah, that's looking pretty decent now. Adjustment layer. And now you want to hit T to bring up the opacity, then hit Alt and then hit the opacity again. And then you want to type in random bracket 7, comma, 200, close bracket. So now you're going to bring the feather up to 100, as I said earlier, which I still haven't done. It's done now. So that was our our expression a minute ago so now the lighting or the opacity is going to be stuttery there we go evidently you can see it there so it's looking pretty decent at the moment there we go if you wanted to you could make an adjustment layer around the hand but there's good enough glow anyway from around the lightning you could if you wanted to but it gives it sort of a funny color thing so i'm going to render it at the moment to see how we have so far i've recorded this after so i'm telling you there's going to be a part two not for the where it hits the wall but just for adding bits onto it like optical flares lens flares that sort of things so this is part two. 
if you want to see part one, you can go to my channel and it'll probably be in uploaded videos there. Actually, I'll leave a link for it down in the description below. So as you can see, the sparks and the lightning and the environmental glow is looking pretty decent at the moment. It's looking really good. So now we're going to want to... I already said we were going to do layer new and solid and make it comp size 1280 1, by 720 preferably black yeah definitely black actually and now I want to type in lens flare in the in the effects and presets and drag it on and now you see we have this lens flare but we don't want it that sort of ready orangey yellow sort of colour, we want it blue since it's giving off a blue light so we're going to put it to add or you can put it to screen if you want to and we're going to drag the tint onto it map white to we're going to make it a bluish well definitely a light bluish there you go and now you want to probably keyframe the lens centre and always drag it to where the thumb is the center to where the thumb is dragged from the, across the period of time. As you can see, if you put it in the middle of where the lightning is, it gives a sort of really bright um revolting look, which you don't want. You can put it around maybe where the index finger is, but preferably where the thumb is. So it looks like it's the core of the lightning. Now you're going to bring it across, keyframe it, like so. So if this and um, the part one that you maybe have previously have seen, um get 40 views to get no 40 likes altogether i'll be willing to do um a lightning hit where it's flying out of the person's head instead of them wriggling the fingers round and um, that would be four four yeah definitely 40 likes so now we're going to type in optical flare you can get them off google and you can also get them from video copilot which i don't have i'm probably planning on getting it though so you're going to bring it in it onto additive mode and you'll type in brightness and contrast from the effects and presets and drag it on. So then we've got that as you can see it looks like it's a block colour around the optical flare. So we're gonna bring the brightness down to around minus fifteen for my certain image, scale it up and rotate it. Around to around scale and where the camera is at the moment. I'm about to say 209, definitely 200 ish. Um, you can also put the opacity to around 50 if it's too bright and it gives it that weird colouring again. And now a keyframe the position to where the core of each beam is falling to. So, preferably where the, th the thumb is then. There you go. And not stop the keyframe. If there's random bits in the middle like where it's not keyframed properly, you can go through it again and then precisely pin it to the point that you want it. But now I'm going to render it for you guys so you can see the finished thing. Now 
might render a bit more. If you want to, you can click to bring T, Alt, hit the opacity, click random again, 7, comma, I'm about 100 maybe, I'm going to close bracket, hit enter, click on the screen, and now you can see you have this flickering sort of feel with the optical flare, like that. But if you don't want that, you can just take the um, expression off so it's just a still image following through with the core of the lightning. Um, that's basically the finished thing, but you can take the expression off like so, so that you have something that looks a bit like this. And this is the finished thing guys, um, thanks for watching if you have, and um, there'll be loads of new vi videos coming out soon, so please click the subscribe button, favourite the video if you want, like and comment, it really does help as I'm trying to build up my channel at the moment.